Hello and welcome to the tutorial of multi-step simulations. In this tutorial, we are going to study the combined system of fluent and static structural, and we also export the result to the icon value buckling and the model to find the natural frequency. In the first step, we have to create the geometries of a water tank. So, the first step, I need to change the unit to meter and the grid to 0 0.1 meter. Now, I use a line tool to draw the axis of the water tank. So, I select the XY plane and draw up 30 meter, which is the height of the water tank. And the diameter of the sphere on the top is about 12 meter, so I draw up about 5 meter. I select the line and click on cylinder to make the body of the water tank tower. And then I create a new component to create the, the outer cover. And then subtract the inner cylinder from the outer cylinder to get the water tank tower. Now I hide as a solid and see through to see if my cylinder is hollow and it is. So now on the top I draw a sphere which is a water tank and the diameter is 12 meter. As you can see, the solid is automatically joined, so I just delete the redundant part and create a new component of air. The component of air will cover all the water tank and the space around it, so I try to draw a rectangle of 30 by 100 meter. I select this rectangle and fill it to make a region. Now I move this region to the center of the base of the tower. And I pull it up to get a space for the air. I assume that the space for the air is about 50 meter high. <coughs> and now I subtract the tower from the air. And I delete the redundant part. Before we move to the next step, I just rename the solid so I will not be confused later. Okay, that's all done for the geometry. Now we move to the next step of the simulation influence that is a meshing. So the first step, I have to suppress the tower because no airflow inside the tower. And then I generate a mesh. I just make a simple cut here to see if the space inside the tower is a void in the fluent domain. And it is. Now I delete the sections and try to make some name selection. So I click on one face and create name selection is inlet. And I select the opposite face to make it as an outlet.
the two sides and the upper face is a boundary. I assume that during the windy time, the air flow parallelly to this boundary. And the bottom face is the ground. I have to differentiate it because I'm going to import the pressure on the tower later, so I don't want to be confused. Phone name is here, so before I close the meshing, I need to update it, so the name selection will be updated to the setup. In the setup, I click on double precision and I need it for the steady state only, so I don't need to change anything in general. I also can add gravity, but it's the air flow, so therefore I don't have to check it. For the viscosity, I can use K epsilon for air. And I input the inlet velocity is 60 meter per second during a cyclone. And then I have to initialize. We have only one flute, so therefore we don't have to use a hybrid. We can use standard one. And I run it for about 50 steps of iterations. Now done. We just click on animations and click on vector to see the vector of velocity. So you can see that the velocities increase uh, and change directions when the airflow meet the tower. Now we move to the next step in our multi-step simulation. So in the first step, I have to change the material of property to the multi-linear hardening as requested by the tutorial. And I enter here the graph of plastic strain and stress. So this is a simple graph of stress strain. I also have to change the yielding strength and the portion ratio. Now I move to the model. Here's your out of interface of the mechanical ANSYS. So I have to suppress the air because in static structural, we don't need the air in the meshing. And I generate a mesh for the water tank tower. Now I add the fixed support at the ground. So I zoom in and click on the connection between the tower and the ground. For the roller support, you can use a frictionless support. And I import pressure from the ANSYS fluent. I select the face where the air pressure act on and select it from the respective boundary conditions. and I import the load. Now everything is fine. In the next step, I need to add the solution. So I add the total deformations, strain and stress, and solve it. So 
So here is our deformation due to the wind load. In the next step, we can go to the model because it's parallel to the icon value buckling and it's easier. So we show it and generate the mode shape deformations and evaluate the results. Here is the first and the second vibrations. In the eigen value buckling, I saw it first to get the force multiplier value. And as you can see, the load multiplier is very big. So therefore, there's no buckling with the current load. However, if I increase the pressure, I can have the buckling at behind of the tower as shown on the figure. Thank you very much and see you next time.